Thank the gods for sending some beast men to the rescue, eh? We still got a long ride ahead. You mind keeping me company till we arrive? I ain't never felt the embrace of a man of your stature. You know, maybe I thought. <laughs> All right, chumps, let's do this. New character. Let's start from the top. We have Hyur. Hyur is said to first travel to Eorza. Eorzea from her surrounding continents and islands. Three great migratory waves later, they are now the most populous of all the civilized races. Ah. Elizin, in former times, the Elizin were sole inhabitants of Eorzea, claiming dominion over her. Traditionally a nomadic people, the tall, slender Elizin believe the realm to be theirs by divine right. So those are the racists. Okay. I'm not playing a little boy. A wee people sporting short, rotund bodies. The falafels appear as no more than children to the eyes of most because they are. Many of these nimble little folk hail from the islands of the South Seas where they practice a simple agricultural lifestyle. Well, howdy. It was not until the opening of maritime trade routes that the gradual migration of falafel to Aorzea began. Cat girl, cat girl, cat girl, cat girl. No, cat we ain't playing no dadgum cat girl. Oh, I need a little bit of this when I'm reading this. <clears throat> Traversing the frozen seas in pursuit of the wildlife upon which they subsisted. Mikote are known to be very territorial, and many individuals tend to lead solitary lifestyles, particularly the males. Nice. Rogaden. Known for their brawny builds and piercing eyes, the Rogaden are the largest and most rugged of Eorzea's races. The majority of the realm's Rogaden belong to the Sea Wolf Clan, a maritime people who earn their keep on or by the sea. Same body. Okay, this guy is way more jacked than I am, okay? And so is this girl. Aura. The curved horns and beautifully patterned scales that characterize the aura oft give rise to speculation that members of this hior like race native to the far eastern continent of Orthod are, in fact, the progeny of dragons. The progeny of dragons. Why do so many of these uh, character descriptions have tongue twisters, I do not know. <clears throat> Hailing from the distant shores of Ilsabard, the Rothgar yeah. are a burly people of lion-like appearance, or the males, at least. Females number staggeringly few among their population and thus are rarely so much as glimpsed by the other races. This is not me, okay? I'm not this hairy. Everyone's saying you. This, I'm not this hairy. Of tall stature and slender frame, the Vieira's physical appearance is strikingly similar to that of the Hior and Elizin, save for their distinctive long ears. Uh, adhering to a strict code known as the Green Word, they are prohibited from contact with the outside world under threat of exile. Their society is purely matriarchal, and males of age are seldom, if ever, found within the bounds of any village. They instead serve as protectors of the wood from the shadows. There's a joke there. View your character and instead of undergarments, he or she will be wearing at the game's onset. Why is that even an option? Why is that an option? Character select screen. Why is that an option for ERP? Okay, you guys keep saying this is an ERP game. It's not an ERP game. Okay, probably. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing Lollafell. If I had scrolled over Lollafell there, that would have been last stream, I'm telling you. I'm leaning towards Rogaden, Hior, Vieira? I'm just kidding. It's just weird that they would do this. Save that for later. There's a boob slider in the female adjustments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so this is so funny to me. There needs to be an even bigger range. Look, listen, guys, there's something that I believe in. I, I believe in very, very strongly and very greatly, okay? And that's complete and total character immersion. If I'm playing a Hrothgar, that's not me becoming one with my character. I think we're gonna go Sea Wolves. Okay, Muscle Tone. Oh, frick. I'm yoked. Okay, complete and total character immersion. What is the most like my hair? Oh, frick. Okay, this is our guy. This is the one. This is it. That's our guy. Facial features? Nope. Mmm. 
Okay. Listen, this is how you get good at games. Step one, you become one with your character. That's life. That's the reality of how this whole thing works. From top to bottom. That's a man right there. That is a man right there. We have one more thing that we have to check, okay? How do I, how do I size up? Do I size up good? What do you think? Chat, listen, this is what it's about, okay? If you can't become one with your character, then what's the point? There is no point. But when you want to be the best of the best, when best is the standard, when your standard is best, this is what it takes. That's all it takes, okay? Let's play the game. Let's actually get going. Okay, so Disciples of War, Gladiator, Pugilist, Martyr, Lancer, Archer. Okay, so Lancer looks like a Dragoon. I'm really, really thinking Dragoon. Let's start with Gladiator, and then we'll go to Lancer, and then we'll then we'll turn into a Dragoon, and then we'll go Paladin back and forth, however we want to do that, okay? Okay, chat, so here's how we're gonna play the game. Listen, I ain't doing that bullshit, okay? I'm being honest with y'all right now, okay? When people told me Crystal has the role players on it, don't go to Crystal, I was like, give it to me, baby, because I feel like Crystal has the content. Okay, the first and last name of your character, S Fand Television. <laughs> nah, the story of S Fand Television begins. Will you do voices? Yeah. Absolutely, I will. You guys are about to see yeah. the best 14 points I've yeah. ever seen. Honestly, cannot wait for NPCs to call you Sir Television. Dude, yeah. this game is copying Kingdom Hearts, dude. This company is, uh, they're, they're just stealing from other companies. Just a little. Hey, hey you. You all right, lad? You're moaning something fierce for a while there. Feeling the effects of the ether, I reckon. You'll get used to it though, don't worry. Brass Blade Captain. You there, halt. What's all this about? Inspection? Men, search the carriage. I'm just an honest peddler friend, so uh, don't be too disappointed if you don't find nothing, eh? Sir, look, Somnus. Honest Peddler, was it? Since when do Honest Peddlers deal in prohibited herbs? You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll rot in a dungeon till the end of your days. Unless you can afford the fine. <laughs> Business as usual. Da -da -da -dun, da -da -da oh. oh, Amalja, Amalja, to arms, to arms! What the frick? Consider this a warning? Now go, all of you. I thought there was only one hell. Better than in-game voice? Thanks. <sighs> that kind of excitement. I'll tell you, that ain't good for the heart. Be careful around them bra brass blades, lad. Bastards will have the shirt off your back if they fancy it. Like common bandits, they are only less honest. Thank you the gods for sending some beast men to the rescue, eh? Seen us. We still got a long ride ahead. You mind keeping me company till we arrive? I ain't never felt the embrace of a man of your stature. You know, maybe I thought. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Judging by your uh, unusual garments, I, hell, I wager you're one of them new adventures. I knew it. Going where the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. What was it that first attracted you to it? Uh, I wanted to win glory. Glory, eh? Well, if you're willing to take on them tasks as other folks ain't, an adventurer such as yourself can win fame what coin can't buy. When you arrive in town, you'll want to report to the Adventurers Guild. You can find out everything you need to know about the adventure business in there. 
By the by, is this your first trip to Old Dub? Uh, yeah, it is actually. It is? Well then, let this journey to it, it narrant. What the frick? What does that mean? It to it, whatever. Tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Ah, uh, long last. Behold Old Dub, jewel of Thanaland, where folk turn go sand to gold. Deep in the sun-baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance. Her name, Ulda. Hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. Dude, hustle and bustle. We had neighbors who had goats. As the twin faces of Nold Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. And here's where we part ways, lad. Here. Why don't you have this? By way of thanks for putting up with my prattle. You never did tell me your name, though. Hey, here's an idea. Come the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. That's the company! He said the name of the company! May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. I could listen to this all day. Name drop, Pogu. It really does play like a like a single player like playthrough game, like people were saying. So far. That was Krogsy, I bet. Oi, Venture, over here. Okay, I got the voice for this guy. Hey, I mean you. Fresh off the carriage, by any chance? <laughs> How can I tell, huh? It's plain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around here. Really, dude? If I, like, let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you're certain to get mugged, or worse. And I don't want that on my conscience. So before you do anything else, you'll want to head over to the quicksand and speak with Mamodi. She's the master of the Adventurer's Guild and can set you on the right path. Just take those steps over yonder and pass through the double doors. You'll find her inside. And that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventuring, Adventurer. Quest accepted. Good quest. Good quest. Good quest. Speak with Mamodi. Okay, so coming to Olda, I'm here. I think we're gonna go inside this building right here. Hey, Mamodi, where you at, girl? Oh, you're a, a kid, sorry. Why, hello there. Who might you be? If you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you've come to the right place. I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in Olda. So you might have said that looking after green screen adventures like yourself is my vocation. And lucky for you, that is, without someone like me to steer you right, You'd soon find yourself in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. Like our conflict with the Amalja, for example. They've been plaguing that Sultanite for no oh, forever now. Hey, the people drink and make merry, but underneath it all, there's worry. <clears throat> worry and ling lingerie fe ling lingering feeling of loss, and little wonder. It's scarce been five years since the lesser moon cracked, releasing an abomination intent on turning the realm into an eighth hell. But then things begin to get foggy. Everyone's got their own version of what happened next. Oh my gosh, Momodi, you gotta stop talking. I'm gonna rip through my voice in like five minutes. All I ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to leave Olda in a better state than you found her. If you can promise that, I'd be happy to let you join the guild. Mm-hmm. All right then, a promise is a promise now. S-Man Television. Well, ain't that a charming name? All right, Mr. Television. <laughs> On behalf of the Avengers Guild, I officially... Please, sir, be merciful. Oh, <clears throat> Gullible Gambler. 
Please, sir, be merciful. Twelve is my witness, I swear to you. I'll bring you your money. In the East, it is said that even a merciful god may, might be driven to a vengeance if thrice blasphemed. You too, attend to this scum. No, please, mercy. Well, ain't that a sorry sight? Nor an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Any road, welcome to Old Eyes, Fand. Take a moment to catch your breath, and I'll teach you a little about our fair city. I gotta go out for a pack of smokes. Yeah, I gotta get the throat coat after this. You've taken the first step as an adventurer in the city of Olda. Listen well to the wisdom of Modi Modi, and then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Da -da 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 -dun 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 -dun. This concludes the introductory game tutorial. Hey, tutorial complete. Tutorial complete. Okay, so is this the part? I finished the tutorial. So is this the part where I get boosted? How do I boost? Chop, chop, and I'm gonna quit tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>